If you want to know how to morph one shape into another in After Effects, I've got you covered. I'm Will with DuckTut, and let's just dive right in. So you'll want to start with placing any shapes you want in your composition like this. As you can see, I'm using our logo, and I'm going to transform it into that blue bird that makes me sad when I check my phone in the mornings. Of course, just because I'm using logos doesn't mean you have to. This works with shape layers as well. Now I have my logo, which is an Illustrator file, and to prep that, I just have to right click and go to Create, Create Shapes from Vector, and that'll turn it into something we can work with. To do the same for a PNG like the Twitter logo, I'm going to select it and then go to Layer, Auto Trace. It's going to pull up this window, and I'd recommend checking the preview box and then make sure that the outline matches up nicely with the shape. If it doesn't, you might need to lower the tolerance, but be careful. Lowering it adds anchor points, and we don't want a lot of those. For me, three is a good number. Hit OK, and that's going to give us the path around the logo that we're going to steal. Open up its window and go deep into mask like this, and then when you see the mask path, copy it with Command or Control C. Now you can delete that logo if you'd like, or if you're a file hoarder like me, you can just hide it. Now open up the contents window on your other shape, and then group one. You should see one or more paths like this. If you've got a simple logo like Twitter or something like the Nike swoosh, you'll only have one, but since our logo has this little eyeball, it's going to make an extra path that we have to manage. Open up both paths so that you see these two stopwatches. Move forward on the timeline one second and then click those stopwatches to make some keyframes. Now move forward another second and with both paths selected, paste in our other paths with Command or Control V. And there we go, it looks perfect, except for the fact that it looks really bad actually, and I don't know why it shifts up like that. So let's fix it. First thing is that since we had that extra path, the eye of our duck is going to want to transform into the Twitter logo too. To fix it, just go a few frames past the first one where the eye is just starting to transform and make another keyframe. Then delete the end one. Now zoom in and shrink the eye so you can barely see it, and then go to the end of the transformation and drag it so that it's hidden from view. To fix that weird upward shift, go into the transform controls and at the beginning of your animation make a keyframe for position. Now go to the end of the animation and adjust the position so it lines up neatly. It helps if you use a guide like I am. Lastly is optional, color. I'm going to add the blue back into our Twitter logo. In group 1, open up your fill controls and at the beginning make a keyframe where it says color. Now go to the end, open up the color window, and put in whatever color you want. For me, I'm going to pull up the original logo. Real glad I didn't delete it now. With the eyedropper tool, I'm going to click on it and confirm. Now I'm just going to hide my logo again, and we're done. And that's the basics of shape morphing in After Effects. Hope you had fun, and I'll catch you later. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.